Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've been doing some more work on the attack system. Like last week I'm still only working on the functionality so there's no new art or animations but I have now added a few more attack types into the game. So the first of these new attack types is a slight variation of the projectile attacks and that is the exploding projectiles. They're pretty much the same as normal projectiles, except for the fact that it's not the projectile itself that does the damage, it's the explosion that it causes when it hits something. In general, the explosions will be a lot bigger than this, so you'd be able to aim the projectiles at the grounds near your enemy so that they'd get damaged by the explosion. Secondly, I sort of implemented beam attacks this week, which allow your player to shoot out a beam which will damage anything it touches. At the moment though, I don't really have the visual effect support to do this properly, so I'm currently just using particle effects for the beam, um, but it will hopefully look a lot more impressive once I've implemented all of the new visual effects in April. And last but not least, my favourite of the new attacks are the new barrage style attacks. So if I charge up this barrage attack, you can see that I now have this indicator area on the terrain and this allows me to choose where the attack is going to hit and it also shows how large of an area is going to be affected by the attack. Then when I'm ready, I can fire the attack and down comes a projectile from the sky and explodes in the selected area. And it doesn't just have to be one projectile, I can set it to fire any number of projectiles like this attack here. So, at the moment I have to hard code all of the attacks, including all of the particle effects, which is why the attacks don't look quite as fantastic as they could, uh, but this week I started to work on that problem by creating some attack files. Each attack in the game will have its own attack file, and all of the information for the attack will be stored in these files. So here's the file for that first barrage attack that I showed you, and you can see that it contains the attack's icon, the projectile's model, the texture for that model, the charging and firing animations, and also all of the attack information such as the range and the particle effects. I then programmed a parser so that the game can read in these files, and it can then use the attacks in the game. I still have to manually make these attack files and type in all of the attack and particle effect information, but at the end of April I'm going to be creating an attack editor tool which will create all of these attack files for me. Another thing that I changed this week is that you now only see a mob's profile thing when your crosshair is over them like this. The way that I did this was to surround each mob in a bounding ellipsoid, and then I could check for intersection between the crosshair and the ellipsoid using ray casting, which you'll know all about if you watched my last tutorial. So because of this I had to add a new component into the entity editor, which is this hit ellipsoid component, which acts like a hitbox, except for the fact that it's not actually a box, and this will be used in combat and for collision detection, as well as for checking whether or not the crosshair is pointing at the mob. So that is everything that I did this week, and that's actually now everything that I need to do for the basic attack functionality on the client side. So next week I'm going to start working on the server code to allow for combat to work in multiplayer, and also to allow you to actually attack mobs, and for them to actually attack you back. Uh, so that should be lovely. After that, as I already mentioned, I'm going to be spending about a month working on visual effects and an attack editor, to hopefully get a load of very nice looking attacks into the game, and then I'll be going back to implement the more advanced features that I've got planned for the combat system. But for this week, that is it! Don't forget to follow me on any of my social media sites if you'd like to see some extra pictures, videos or updates during the week. Links are in the description below. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a brilliant week and I will see you all next time.